As a child, God led your parents and significant adults around you to teach you and guide you so that you might grow to fulfill those dreams. As a youth and young adult, you took more and more responsibility for shaping those dreams and how you would choose to live your life. Now you bring your dreams here to commit your lives in a covenant of marriage to live and grow with each other through whatever life may hold in store for you. This is a moment that requires great courage because it defines the balance of your years. But know that the Creator God not only smiles on you today, God makes a covenant to be with the two of you throughout your years, to guide you, to strengthen you, and to bless you. Today we celebrate because you have come here to give yourselves to one another in this holy covenant. I ask you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with one another through the grace of Jesus Christ, who calls you into union with himself. Megan, will you have Peter to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. And now, Peter, will you have Megan to be your wife, to live together in a holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. The marriage of Peter and Megan unites their families and creates a new one. They ask for your blessing. Will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage? If so, answer, we will. We will. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. God of all peoples, you are the true light illumining everyone. You show us the way, the truth, and the life. Your love, you love us even when we are disobedient. You sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We rejoice in your life in the midst of our lives. We praise you for your presence with us, and especially in this act of solemn covenant through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The scripture passage you have selected is one that I hope will continue to teach you what love is and what marriage can be all through your many, many years together. It is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. Even for knowledge, it will too will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. For when I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, and I reasoned like a child. But when I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part. Then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, love, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Let us continue in prayer. 
eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit Megan and Peter who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all their days, that they may reach out in concern and service to the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, Peter, if you would repeat after me. In the name of God, in the name of God I, Peter, I, Peter, take you, Megan, take you Megan, to be my wife. To have, and to, hold to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward. for better or worse, better or worse. For, richer or poorer. for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. To, love and to, cherish. to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. After me. In the name of God, I am Megan. Take you, Peter, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. <laughs> and now, if I could have the rings, please. These rings are the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace signifying to us the union between Jesus Christ and his church. Bless, O Lord, the giving and receiving of these rings that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now you will take her ring. Oh, there's a pop quiz. Do you know which fingers it goes on? <laughs> she may help you. Oh, you're better than I was. I missed it on my own way. Slide it part way on and repeat after me. Megan, I give you this ring. Megan, I give you this ring. As a sign of my God. As a sign of my God. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And so I do. Now your pop quiz. Oh, you, you have this as a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. In the name of the Father. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, as an initial act of your marriage, I invite you to go over and let your wedding candles.
Christ in his church. Send therefore your blessing upon Megan and Peter, that they may surely keep their marriage covenant, and so grow in love and godliness together, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, the eternal, keep you in love with each other, so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home. Go to serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. Bear witness to the love of God in this world, so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you generous friends. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And now, a kiss. Peter and Megan Sawinski. Yeah.